be the next uh, male entrepreneur in Barbados who will invent the next tier of the cell phone. The cell phone technology has not stopped. It never stops. Mm. And, I, and I believe that given our, our technical expertise, why can't we um, come up with the next tier level of the cell phone? The technology and the inputs that push and, and, and drive the cell phone technology, is, there's no monopoly on it. But we are not seeing it at that level. Mm -hmm. And I believe that, that's why I believe that entrepreneurship must be seen in a, in a very global context. And Barbados, though small, does not confine us in terms of our space. And we, in the government, for example, we have um, expounded on the need to grow our foreign exchange and to grow our GDP. But we can't do that if entrepreneurs are not going to position themselves to get into vital areas of growth. And I believe that one of the things that we have to do is to very quickly assimilate and identify those key growth areas that will not only make your business invaluable, unique, and in demand, but will be down to the economic benefit of Barbados. We also see road tennis as an indigenous sport. But in order to play road tennis, we need to have rackets and we need to have nets. But I'm yet to see a company in Barbados mass producing road tennis rackets. Now, we also exhibited road tennis at the Shanghai mm -hmm. exhibition in China. Now, I'm going to wait to see whether we're going to, <laughs> we're going to wait for the Chinese to make rackets for us in Barbados. Not that I'm not saying that China has to expand, mm -hmm. but we have a brilliant opportunity, given where the sport is going to go, for a couple of businesses to start looking at how they're going to make